Hey, Steve Gamash here with a um, video on a custom handle job, I, my first one, and just wanted to kind of show you what I did. It's a little bit easier than taking photos and writing a whole bunch of stuff in an article, although they may do that. So what I did was I bought two of these um, Ito Ryu um, Shidogami number no. 2 knives, the 210 Gyuto and the uh, 175 Nikiri. And they come with a basic handle. It's nothing special. And these knives are nice enough. They're great fit and finish. They're awesome performers that they really, I thought they deserved a nicer handle. So anyway, the stock handle is kind of that burnt chestnut. Uh, with this, It's got a pretty good feel to it. And it's got uh, some nice um, grip to it with the texture on the handle. But it's got this cheap plastic ferrule on it. And it's pretty lightweight. I wanted something a little bit nicer. So I found a piece of... Uh, olive wood at a woodworking store. Uh, I think it's one and a half by one and a half by 12 inch and a buddy of mine has some woodworking shop equipment set up so we got his bandsaw. I figured out dimensions of rough size for the pieces that I wanted and based on some measurements on some different knives that I liked and so we cut those in the bandsaw and then we finished it on a, a big belt sander he had and um, I have total newfound respect for handle makers because some of this stuff's a pain in the butt, to be honest with you. The biggest one is just creating these holes and trying to get a tang on there and, you know, creating the opening that you're going to have inside that for the tang. On my particular one, I didn't really want to mess with ferrules and two pieces and all that kind of stuff. So I just decided to do a one-piece um, handle, same wood, which means I don't have any kind of cheater way to put a dowel in here. So it was a lot of work putting this on the... Uh, drill press and trying to get straight holes with long enough bits and so this one I have yet to do obviously uh, the um, figure on this piece is kind of nice this uh, piece of olive wood turned out really cool on the inside once I took some of the outside off of it anyway so this one's kind of rough and ready to go for fitting and hollowing out of that which is a lot of work if you don't have the perfect right tools which I don't so I'm kind of making do with what I have and this is how the first one turned out, and so I decided to make it an oval. Take a little closer look here. I decided to do an oval because I really don't have the sanding equipment. Oh, wrong way. I don't really have the sanding equipment to put nice facets on these for an octagonal. I may try it on a reference plate, but I decided to do this method. So I basically did a uh, cut strips of varying grit sandpaper and did a big shoe shine back and forth method uh, with the knife mounted in the uh, vise and then the handle just kind of tapped on there and did a whole lot of work <laughs> made a lot of sawdust but it I think it turned out pretty well it, uh, I kind of got it about the size I want and the opening wasn't really exactly the size so we'll try to do better on the next one but I used the JB quick weld on it and um, then I put uh, I took it to a 400 level grit sandpaper and put a few coats of Danish or Waco Danish oil on it and I think it actually it turned out pretty nice it's got a kind of a smooth but matte finish and I put the gap that I wanted for my finger on a pinch grip unfortunately the knife does balance a little bit back of where I would like it to um, so it balances about right there instead of on my pinch which is a little forward of that I um, actually had to take this handle and cut it down I had it a little bit longer and it just threw the balance too far off. So the whole thing finished. I basically just chopped the end off about three quarters of an inch and refinished the end again. And that brought the balance point back up just a, a touch. It's still a little behind where I'd like it. But I'm hoping that, because this olive wood is quite a bit heavier than the stock handle wood. And so I'm hoping that with the Nikiri having a bigger blade, that should get the balance point forward on the Nikiri. Because this will be a, a very similar size handle once I'm done with it. So I think I'll probably do the same um, oval method, which I can do by hand, shoe shining, with a bunch of strips. Anyway, um, that's my first handle attempt. And like I said, I've got a complete newfound respect for the skill and um, craftsmanship of these guys creating these custom handles. And I can totally see uh, why they charge what they do for their handles. I just wanted to try one on my own. So hopefully I'll be matching the kitty in a couple of days. I'll throw that one in another quick video. But uh, there you go. Custom olive wood handles for the Ito Ryu um, Shirogami number no. 2. Uh, 175 Nikiri, soon to be there. And the 210 Kyoto.